Senate President Kim, Governor Ige, our military, distinguished guests, and our overburdened Hawaii taxpayers. <laughs> On behalf of the entire Senate minority, aloha. <laughs> you know, Madam President, following up on your theme, where have all the Republicans gone? <laughs> First, let me reassure you, those of you who have been worried over the past several weeks, that I remain a Republican. I'm not switching parties. <laughs> and I pledge to continue to represent the loyal but responsible opposition to harmful legislation while advocating reasonable alternative legislation to solve problems and ease the economic burdens on our citizens. You know, it has become increasingly difficult to stand up and speak out against the status quo and to call for change in Hawaii. Yet, it must be done. There are some who would silence any dissent in our state. Sometimes there are severe political, social, economic, and media consequences for speaking out. Ask former UH Chancellor Tom Apple, or me. With the new year, though, we remain hopeful with the new administration that we may actually get some positive changes. We now have a governor who was once one of us in the Senate, whom I respect, with an engineering and not a community organizing background. As the governor has said, government can't do it alone. People must get involved and do some of the heavy lifting to solve the problems that have remained with us for many years. Our job, as the Senate President indicated, is to restore and encourage the public's confidence in our process and to be more transparent and accountable ourselves while empowering our citizens. We have to do more than just talk and make speeches. We need appropriate action. The good news is we can do this. The public feels disconnected because we haven't done a good enough job to date. There haven't been consequences for bad government behavior. We have been lax in the oversight of billions of taxpayer dollars. I like the president's proposal for the inspector general to look at these things. Now, you said it already offers a thoughtful, effective, five-point action agenda for 2015. One, economic diversification and budget reduction. Two, meaningful outcome-based education. Three, health connector, Obamacare, and HHSC alternatives. Four, changes to Public Utilities Commission and analysis of the proposed HECO merger. And five, reduction in the terrible cost of living for our beleaguered residents, middle class, and poor. Your Senate minority continues to caution that Hawaii's economy overall has not turned any corner and that many more of our citizens and small businesses are still struggling needlessly. Every national organization rates Hawaii worse in economic opportunity. We are now concerned that more than 20,000 of our active duty are manned 30,000 dependents, which may leave Hawaii causing more than $1 billion in economic, uh, economic loss. But our military is far more than dollars alone. They contribute to all of our society. So too our $20 billion unfunded liability. This too can be done. We must promise no new taxes. 
We can't throw good money after bad for the black hole that is the flawed Oahu Transit fixed rail system. It is all about development and not about transportation or relieving congestion. It is $900 billion over budget currently. No extension of the general excise tax should be permitted by this legislature. Not one more penny to those who purposely have misled the taxpayers of this state. Otherwise, elected officials are like enablers who assist drug addicts to become more destructive. Stop this project now and provide real transportation alternatives like hot lanes already advanced. Madam President, can we have a short recess? Madam President, short recess, please. Short recess subject to the call of the chair. system in Hawaii has shortchanged the students and parents who pay for that education. We need a comprehensive financial and managerial audit of the DOE and my alma mater, the University of Hawaii. UH has said it's proud, quote, to have 52% of the students able to graduate in six years, unquote. That's not good enough. We can do better. The legislature must say no to continued shortfalls in DOE programs. The amount, the annual UH athletics deficit and the Spendthrift UH Cancer Center. And yes, to more classroom teachers. Tuition must reflect actual costs, not larger salaries for coaches and vice presidents. The PUC has been without effective leadership for the past several years. Too many dockets still remain open. We have worked with the new chair, Randy Awasi, uh, in the past, and we will support a changing mission for the PUC and an objective analysis of the planned $4 billion HECO merger. My staff member, Catherine Higa, has experienced mergers and acquisitions before, and she has already been on this task since December. The Hawaii Health Connector has sped through millions of taxpayer dollars without noticeable results uh, or honesty in presentations. The data it provides to the legislature does not match up with federal data. It should receive no more taxpayer funds. The Medicaid computer failure may cost taxpayers up to $100 million more. The legislature has to monitor outside contracts when agencies don't, as the Senate President has done. We have to increase our resident standard of living by reducing their burdens and costs. We can do this by food and medical GET tax relief and by advancing federal affordable cargo shipping reform of the Jones Act. The Senate minority has been cooperating with like-minded lawmakers in Alaska, Guam, and Puerto Rico. We have many other positive legislative changes. Come see us and make sure that our bills are heard. So on behalf of the Senate minority, I pledge our continued efforts to support good legislation, regardless of who introduces it, to examine and report honestly on the impact of all bills, and to work toward ending legislative exemptions for ourselves, for laws we pass on to others. We celebrate our God-given liberty and our ability to change. Our goal should be not a new day, but a better day. This is not a partisan issue, and together we must navigate 
a course, a different course, with a vision of how much greater Hawaii can be. Finally, this is the year of the sheep. And my hope and advice is that the taxpayers and voters of Hawaii will stop acting like sheep and be more independent and hold all of us more accountable. So on behalf of the minority, I say God bless our armed forces, our men and women, and the United States of America. Aloha. Thank you, Senator Stolm. At this time, the chair will call for a short recess. Short recess subject to the call of the chair.